So that could be the case. I'm just being a little bit more extra careful than usual. Hey, go away! No, I'm not gonna go away! You make me go away! You know what? You guys shouldn't have such an open-door policy if you don't want me here. Hey, everybody! Welcome back to Falcon Place Forsaken Fortress Strategy, episode number three, part of Spooky October Mud here in the channel itself. Let's get underway. So, off camera, I let these two numb skulls over here sleep. As you can see, they're kind of rested now completely. She's not. The reason why she is not is because, number one, she needs to get some rest. Let's have you move out of the way here, Joshua. Helen, come over here and sleep. What I had her do off camera, meanwhile, these guys rested. I don't want to show that off because it was going to be just me going back to the refugee camp. I took some items with her and I did some trading to bring back some wood, some metal, and things of that nature. What I did find out, oddly enough, is that there is actually a... I'm not sure if we missed... No, no, we didn't. I know for a fact that refugee camp we completely pillaged completely, but I went back, and when I went back to do some trading, I did find a few locations with a few items again. Nothing too crazy, but like, you know, two pieces of wood here, a bit of metal here, a piece of, um, you know, weapon scrap here and there. So I did find that, which was actually pretty cool. Right now what I'm doing is actually filtering water with um, Joshua over here, because we need that to actually make some vegetable soup. I'm also going to have Joshua just close this door here. Although, you know what? I don't think it's really too important because we have to probably go back out there and filter some more water pretty soon. What I also need to do is also get this temperature back up. Otherwise, we're in for a world of um, illnesses. So let's add five wood to the fire. Uh, let's see, we're up to 20 wood right now. So we'll drop five in here. We'll be down to 15, but it's fine. I basically did some trading and I pillaged some items here and there. Uh, I was trying to figure out off camera as well what has a high trade value so we know what to look for in areas. Go back to the refugee camp and do some trading whenever we need to. So um, yeah, I was trying to get my head wrapped around that one. I'm still not too completely sure what brings what down. Water's been produced perfect. Um, we don't have to go out there to pick it up. It just goes straight into our inventory. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're up to five water now. Perfect. Um, we could now cook some food. We're down to 15 wood. I'm thinking what we do is, let's see. This requires what? Let's see here. I do believe it requires two water bottles to actually make the vegetable soup. Let's find out. Yes, so two water bottles, one veggie, and one piece of wood will make the soup. So with this one, we'd actually have enough water to make two meals right now. We have no meat, so I don't have to worry about that one. You know what? Let's not filter any more water for now, and we would just drop vegetable soup and vegetable soup. Craft those away. Perfect. Come back over here to Reuben. This temperature should get into the... um. Non-red marker. There we go. Pretty soon. We're up to five. She's over here resting away. And let's see. Oh, yeah. For her, I also... Oh, there's her head. For some reason, I thought she was missing her head over here. Um, I gave her... Or at least I traded off her civilian outfit for a camping outfit. However, it's kind of weird because the camping outfit looks like it reveals more skin. I was hoping that with the camping outfit, she would probably get um less cold. Meaning she probably wouldn't get sick. But she looks like she's actually revealing more skin now, which is actually kind of weird. Anyway... Um, you, my friend, come over here. I don't think we could produce any more items over here, but let's just keep a little perusal. We can. We can make another iron hatchet if we wanted to have three people with hatchets as opposed to one with a dagger and two hatchets. But I'm thinking at this point, because I'm realizing how hard it is to actually acquire wood and metal down the line, <laughs> um, we do need to start conserving to get upgrades. No, no, what are you doing? No, don't make that. Don't make that. No, get out of there. Don't. That's because we use wood for the soup, right? For a second there, I thought he was making a hatchet. I was like, no, we don't want that happening. Um, no, 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 upgrade. Oh, you could upgrade already. That's what you were doing. No, you can't. We still need metal for the upgrade itself. So with 10 more metal, we could actually increase our weapon count. Probably not the most important thing that we're looking for here. Can you upgrade the beds out of curiosity? Nope. And let's see. You could upgrade the kitchen. We don't have the resources for that. What do we need for that? We need... Oh, we're actually kind of close to it. All we need is like four more pieces of wood to upgrade the kitchen. That's a possibility as well. The other thing that we have to look into that I have not is Josh... Well, I don't have to move you. Um, this would actually give us more things to build, which I've never done before, I'm pretty sure. We need seven more metal and 17 more wood. So this is going to be quite a bit of a hefty price, but it could be worth it assuming we actually unlock some pretty good things over here. So... I think we might want to keep our eye on that one. So, all right, there you go. I think we're ready right now to go out and do something. You guys are a bit hungry. You're going to have to hold off on that one. What's going on? And she's over here resting away. Uh, I guess instead of just waiting here because it gets boring, I'm just going to skip forward. All right, there you go, too. 
This is the reason why I really want a fast forward feature. Alright, there you go. So, I think we're actually all ready to go out here at night time. Again, night, cold, not too good. But I really hate skipping time because our hunger is going down constantly. And as we all know, we only have two meals right now waiting for us. We have three people, so that could be difficult. Dustfall Camp is saying easy. I'm not sure how um, easy that is. I don't think I've been there before, have I? Hmm. Normal. I know for a fact that the restaurant Normal has humans, and they the humans will kill you. So will the no loner apartment. Dustfall Camp easy. All right. Let's give Dustfall Camp a try here, and I'll send all three people. Travel time 8 hours, resources 100. A group of friendly survivors live there. We can try to reach out to them, but the road is occupied by zombies. Oh, so there's actually friendly people there. We might be able to do some free pillaging. I'm not going to take any items to trade, but we'll do some free pillaging. 8 hours is a long time, but by the time we get there's going to be daytime, so... The only thing I'm worried about is they're going to show up. They're really tired. Yeah. Well, let's see how much we drop. We're at energy right here so far. So we'll make this travel eight hours later. We're all just about tired. Yes. Actually, we're not too bad. Some of us aren't too bad. Alrighty. Well, hey, we have all three people here. Let's actually start scavenging about. You start off over here. You're the fastest one after all. And we'll run over here. I've never been to this camp before. I'm not sure if this was available the last time I played. So I'm not sure if there's also like random places to actually locate items or random maps that pop up on occasion. Or maybe it's based on the day, I'm not sure, but I have not seen this map before. Let's have you, my friend, run through here. And there's zombies apparently. It said zombies, isn't it? I thought they were mutants. I mean zombies, the game changes his mind. I've never seen this well, actually. I guess I have seen some zombie movies where they use weapons, but they're more like tongue-in-cheek, like play-on-word zombies. They're not your legitimate, like, I'm just very slow zombie, you know? Uh, you scavenge over here, my friend, and that is about it. Now, you guys are done over here. Great, let's move forward. And here's the camp. What are you? Hey, what are you, like a Fallout character? Excuse me. Oh, oh you can't... Oh, come on. Come on, you can't pick up that wood? Alrighty. I <laughs> can't pick up the wood, he says. Uh, Ruben, come over here and meet up with your friend. I might deposit some items on you. Yeah. Let's see, Helen, you're going to come over here and scavenge about. Thankfully, the survivors, the, the, the kind ones, are really easy going about me pillaging their items all the time because they never really get too rowdy about it. Oh, does she still have the ammunition? Oh, that's a terrible thing, Falcon. That's an extra slot for items right there. Come over here and let's do some trading about. So, hey, let me grab whatever you have. Toss it over to Ruben. Toss the wood over to Ruben. <laughs> hey. I can't trade with her, can I? No, she's too far. I, I figured as much, but I was hoping to, you know, cheat the system here a little bit. Uh, weapon scrap one, metal one. Can you take metal? You can take wood. And one more slot in general. Uh, I mean... Might as well stock it up like so, and metal ones, metal, uh, weapon scrap, chemical scrap, weapon scrap, weapon scrap. So you give this to me, and I will give this back to you in return. Alrighty, perfect. And now we should, with Josh, will be able to pick up the one piece of wood that I left here. You know what? Items are really hard to come by, so I will definitely struggle whatever I have to to pick up that one piece of wood. Now, Helen, you come down over here. There's a rubble right there. There's this little car here. Perfect. Oh, it was actually eight pieces of wood. Never mind. I'm no longer complaining about What's my... Going on? I guess, um, tight grip on items here, because eight pieces of wood is actually really ideal. Let's swap over to these guys and bring them into the mix of things over here. Run. All the way over here. I guess we could probably have them start going to the camp now, too. Yeah, let's do that. And you know what, since I have like 10 bullets, I don't see myself acquiring guns anytime soon. I might want to like trade some of those away with these survivors here, possibly. Look, we're up to 11 now. We just might want to do that. Obviously, um, guns are really powerful in this game. If enemies attack you with guns, you're basically done. Unless you have like armor, but I've never gotten to the point where I actually got an armor. This is actually the best I've done on camera, oddly enough, which is usually when I do terrible because my mind is usually... Um, more focus on commentary than it actually is, like, making wise decisions. But this game, I know for a fact, is difficult because of the balance issues, so I'm being really vigilant about what I'm doing. So that could be the case. I'm just being a little bit more extra careful than usual. Hey, go away! No, I'm not gonna go away! You make me go away. 
You know what? You guys shouldn't have such an open-door policy if you don't want me here. Uh, let's see. So she's already completely stocked up. We have three metal here left over and one piece of wood. All right. Ruben, can I see your inventory here really quickly? You can't do much for me as well. We have so much wood. Like, I want to go back to camp now and just uh, deposit and come back one more time. Excuse me, Joshua. Can you... Joshua, can you please uh, scavenge over here, my friend? No, you don't want to? It just doesn't want to. Is this like their supplies or what? No, it's Helen coming over here. Oh, I guess she was... No, but Helen can't even carry items anymore. Well, luckily Josh was nearby, so we'll just do a little handoff on? if we can. Ooh, some good stuff in here, too. Uh, chemical scrap she can pick up. Ammo, definitely. No more clothing. Uh, let's see. Well, he's got a room, so boom. No more metal, unfortunately. Yes. Can you pick up one piece of metal? Nope. Uh, clothing? Yeah. Nope. I think Ruben has clothing. Uh, metal? Metal. And... Well, we might as well just pick up the clothing as well. And we'll have Ruben just come over here close and see about doing some more item management here. Oh, ammunition. Perfect. Yeah. Let's give that to... Oh, of course. I can't just toss it straight up. I need room before we could combine and then trade back away. That's annoying sometimes. As a matter of fact, everybody's completely loaded up. Oh, no. Alrighty. Let's have Helen see if she can do some trading with somebody here. Uh, so, trade over here. This guy's a recruitable over here, by the way, but, again, we can't carry more than three people. Oh, this guy's got guns! No wonder they're so friendly! Why would you want to mess with these people? Well, the problem, though, is that... <laughs> Alright, I'll give you an idea here. So, if I wanted to trade for a gun, it's not gonna happen, but hey, I want this AR-16. Come on, be serious. What if I gave you everything in my inventory? This is how OP guns are, that the game itself doesn't let you acquire guns, even if you trade your entire inventory away. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm not sure when you get your first gun. I think it's probably more ideal to make it yourself than anything, but obviously we can't do any trading with this gunman. Who's this guy? What do you have for... You have more clothing as well. I got her the camping outfit, hoping it would make her, you know, warmer, but, you know, as we mentioned, it just revealed more skin. Now, we could get some hats. They... I pr think they provide a little bit of warmth if I'm right. And then we have the armor ones as well. Summer had. Obviously the armor ones are the ones to hopefully take less damage when you fight people, which is actually pretty good, but as you can imagine, it probably costs an arm and a leg to pick up one of these here, which I don't think we can make happen. Let's see, what's the cheapest armor that they have, out of curiosity? Trench coat. That's pretty cheap. Uh, let's see. Steel helmet seems to be the shittiest um, armor they have, right? Security uniform. Well, let's do the security uniform out of curiosity. So if I wanted this, what if I traded away half of my, or everything of my inventory? <laughs> no. Come on, be serious. Again, I'm not entirely sure. I really wish there was an option to give you an idea how to gauge the trading, but it's just all by eye, and I'm obviously not good that way. So I'd prefer a little bit of, like, indication how to work this out. Alrighty, let's get on out of here. We came, we conquered, we stole, and uh, we decided to renege on our trading, but that's okay. At least we got a bunch of items, we could go back home now. Uh, food we don't have. I'm still really confused about that ammunition. <laughs> I really am. I need to find out where I left that behind. Look, Josh, can you, like, scavenge here really quickly? Unless I left in this truck. We'll be leaving here pretty soon, but I just want to make sure if I did not leave that... Yeah? ...ammo anywhere else, because I had ten coming in. Like, how do you use those 10 bullets? Now, he doesn't see... It's not in here, either. What's going on? Take a perusal in here. I mean, we obviously didn't come this far down, so I don't expect to find it there. Uh, we came down here. But there's nothing here. And we can't take a shortcut around here, can we? No. Oh, we can! Oh, we can't. Can't climb the mountain? Oh, they can! This is news to me. I did not know you could climb mountains. That's so crazy. Yeah. Oh, hey, you found some pretty good stuff, though. Take that. No room for that one. And take two more wood. That's fine. Hey, we found a few extra stuff here that I wasn't expecting to find. Alrighty. I did not know you could actually cross mountains this way in padways. I thought it was kind of blocked off to me. Hey, that's pretty good. Gives me a idea for the future in case I'm running away from mutants or people with guns. Alrighty. Well, not too bad. We came down here and we at least got a bunch of items, which is actually pretty useful. Now, we're going to be really dead tired by the time we get back. As you can see, we're already tired. We have to travel eight hours in return. So that's not too much fun. So I know for a fact these guys are going to be just dead tired. 
and 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 very hungry as well. Not hungry, but hungry. <laughs> yeah, you see that really often in this game. Uh, let's go ahead and close this off. Uh, really hungry and really tired, everybody should be, right? Well, for the most part. All right, you guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today. I'm going to do much of my um, feeding and sleeping off camera here. We'll come back next episode, and I guess next time around, we're going to be going to a human camp finally and more than likely getting killed, and that will be the end of the run because I have not had any success with humans before. But at this point, we're basically down at that point. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Leave a thumbs up. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time.